Hi everybody, welcome to our Facebook Live here at Bel Air PT. Hi. I'm Khani Stewart, I'm an occupational therapist who works Hi. here. And I'm so happy to be here together with Eliezer David, my eight month old friend, who is super excited to play with me and all of you today. Um, Eliezer David is eight months old and I'd like to show you some of the gross and fine motor activities that we can be doing with our babies, especially with all this extra time that we have home together these days. Oh, you see toys. You ready to play with toys? Yeah? So weight bearing on feet is a very important exercise and activity when it comes to preparation for walking. Oh, you changed your mind? Oh, there you go. So it's really important for babies and children to get used to bearing weight through both of their legs in preparation for walking and holding up their weight. A really great way to do this is either supporting your baby behind something that's a little bit of an elevated surface or on stairs. Here you go, cutie boy, you ready? Oh, you wanna reach up for the toys? And you can see how with that positioning, automatically we encouraged him just to actively weight bear, oops, through those feet of his and it gives him a great opportunity to be able to engage his muscles and play all at the same time. You want more Legos? Oh, there you go. Good job. As you can see, I'm giving him support at the level of his hips and sometimes even a little bit higher, um, depending on how exactly how old the child may be and exactly what their um, muscle skills are like, we might need to provide them with support at different spots. Aren't those Legos so yummy? They're delicious. As you can see as he's eating this Lego over here, mm. he's transitioning from using both hands on the Lego, transferring it to one hand, and then to the other hand. That's a really important skill of bilateral coordination. Using both hands together, transferring objects from one hand to the next, and this, that's a skill that we're gonna need going forward in terms of everything, when it comes to reaching, when it comes to dressing. Um, and it's super important for babies to have the opportunity to do that. So when you're playing with your baby, if you're noticing that one hand might not be doing as much active work as the other one, you could gently prod your baby to include that hand in the process by giving them some extra tactile input at the level of their elbow just to kind of guide them and coax them to include that hand in the activity as well. You are doing a great job here, Mr. Eliezer David. Is that Lego so yummy? Yeah? Look at you, that's so super. Okay, let's move on to our next activity. Do you wanna practice some sitting now? Let's see. Oh, sitting, reaching while sitting is another really important activity for babies to work on. It challenges their reaching out of their base of support and facilitates them to move into the side sitting position, which gets them ready for crawling. And there he goes. Look at that. Hooray, you did it. That was so great. I'm gonna put him back into that sitting position again. So if anyone is home with a baby who's not able to do that on their own yet, I can direct you and show you how you can <coughs> facilitate that happening. Here we go, Eliezer David. You ready? There are your Legos. Oh, you sit up nice and tall. Oh, good strong sit. Oh, not yet? There you go, such good strong sitting. I'm gonna bend one of his knees back. Oh, you're gonna let me? Oh, yes. And bend his other knee. I'm gonna facilitate putting his hands down forward. Rock him forward a little bit as I bring his other leg back. If your baby is not yet ready to do that on their own, they might need your support at the level of their hips to keep them nice and strongly supported so they don't end up face planting straight into the floor. Another great way to facilitate them reaching forward if they're not yet crawling on their own is kind of bringing the baby back over their hips 
and then letting them actively reach forward and back. There you go. And forward. You just learned just what to do. Oh, and there he goes crawling toward his Legos. <laughs> Finding something else fun. Oh, we're going to practice pulling to stand. Here we go. That's another great exercise for babies. And beautiful. Let's go through that one more time for anyone whose baby is not yet pulling to stand independently. Helping them reach up onto a surface is a great way to start. And then you can help them bring one leg, one foot forward. Help them come up at their hips, bringing the other leg forward. And then reaching up. Let's get those feet nice and firm on the ground. That looks much more comfy. Depending on what your baby is up to, he or she might need more or less support at the level of the stomach or the hips to keep them supported when they're in a pulling to stand supported position. Super job. Sometimes putting a toy up at the surface that they're standing at might be a great way to facilitate babies to be encouraged to continue pulling to stand and staying in that standing position whoop, that we were talking about. Again, you might need to provide that little bit of support at the level of the hips. Yeah, look at you holding with two hands. You even dancing? There you go. <laughs> Playing with babies is just so much fun. Okay, should we show some fine motor tricks now, Eliezer David? Let's see. Let's see. Another very important skill for us to work on with our babies is facilitating their use of a pincer grasp. When babies are little, they start using with their um, the pinky side of their hand to pick things up. They'll be grasping with their whole hand, using their pinky side of the hand, and as their hands mature and they're able to do more and more skilled activities with their hands, they start using the index finger side of the hand, starting with using three fingers to pick up and then transitioning into using two by providing them with the opportunity to be able to use their fingers in that way we're able to facilitate the ongoing progression of their skills. So I have over here some Cheerios. Can we do a switch, Eliezer David? Oh, you love this toy. You love this toy? I'm gonna move it away for one minute. Oh, look what's inside of this container. It's a Cheerio. Oh. And if your baby's in a high chair, you can put a Cheerio or a Puff on their high chair tray. If you're kind of sitting with them on the floor, you can just put one Cheerio onto the palm of your hand and encourage your baby to pick it up. Look what I have. Oh, using it as a rattle is just too exciting. Do you want a Cheerio? I'm gonna take that for one minute. No, you love it so much. Oh, you wish it was a bottle. I'm gonna hold it right over here. Do you want a Cheerio? Mm, someone's not so hungry. <laughs> oh, there he goes. And he used a beautiful pincer grasp to pick that up. Great job, Eliezer David. Thank you so much for joining us today here at Bel Air PT looking at gross and fine motor development of babies. We look forward to working with you again soon. These are just general recommendations. So if you have specific questions about your baby, um, please reach out to us. And um, we just wanna make sure that all babies and children stay safe. So of course, if you have any specific concerns about your child doing any of these activities, just make sure to keep everyone safe. Have a wonderful day, thanks.